Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to episode 281 of the 4,000 Question Challenge. All right, so we're jumping into some lead-in questions, where the lead-in to this is, do you think, and then there are follow-up passages after that. So, do you think all people are created equal? Um, in our current world, no. Because if you're created black in America, if you come out of the womb black in America, you're going to have a much different experience than a white guy. And if you're a white woman, you're going to have a much different experience from being from that of a white man or even a black man. And if you're gay or trans, you're going to have a much different experience than a straight or cis person. So no, we aren't. I think equality is what we should be striving for. But until we have eradicated social conservatism, we're not going to get there. Um, do you think most people are either born good or bad? No, I do not. The rare exception are people who have some kind of genetic brain disorder that prevents them from behaving in a, in, a, in, a, in a societally healthy way. There are people who have genetic disorders that mean they can't function in society ethically or morally, um, and they're dangerous. But the vast majority of people who commit evil do so because they want to. Because it's cheap and easy. Um, do you think it is a sin to live in sin? Fuck no. I do not. I think that sin is an outdated concept. Um, yeah. No. Do you think all, most, some, or no political candidates are pathological liars? Um, I think that all politicians lie to an extent, even if it's by omission. Like the most ethical, moral candidate I can think of ever was Bernie Sanders as far as presidential levels. And AOC seems to be really quite good. And I'm sure that there have been a handful of others. But I'm sure that they've lied through omission, if nothing else. Because, unfortunately, sometimes that's what they have to do to get into a position of power to change the world. Which is a sad indictment of the political system. Um, do you think the ends usually justify the means? No. Do you think that Congress does or does not cooperate with a president of the opposite party? Depends on the Congress, depends on the president. We had a pretty decent president in Obama. And the Congress stymied him at every, every chance. We have currently, at the time of this filming, a shit given in power. And uh, Moscow Mitch is preventing anything being done by the Democrats. So... It goes both ways. Sorry, I have on my eye. Do you think selling off public lands to private companies for development is ever the right thing to do? No, I do not. Not ever. In fact, I would make far more lands uh, public in the sense that they would be prevented from being ever having being privately exploited. We need to protect more land, not less. Uh, do you think government should regulate any industries? Hell yes. All of them. All of the industries. Some need a whole lot more regulation. Some, maybe just a little. Um, and here actually this jumps right into another lead-in section. And this is the lead into this is how do you explain why and the follow ups are in this case, a lot of bad people live long, happy lives with innocent, good people die because they're willing to take the cheap, cheap, easy way of achieving that end, which is exploiting the world and people at large. They're willing to be unethical and immoral because they're greedy and selfish. Not that complex. How do you explain why we have laws and rules? Because we are a tribal species and organizational hierarchies are power magnifiers. They're, they're force multipliers. And for those to function, you need rules and laws. And in a just society, those new rules and laws are, are fair and applied equally. We don't see a lot of that in the real world, of course. So, thank you for being here for episode 281, and I hope that you will be here for episode 282.